In this lecture, I will talk to you about solutions. So what are solutions? Solutions are simply mixtures of two more compounds found in the same state. They're also called homogeneous solutions. Homogeneous simply means in the same state. Now since there are three states possible, three types of solutions exist. Solid solutions, liquid solutions, and gas solutions. An example of a solid solution is brass. Brass is a metal composed of zinc and copper. An example of a liquid solution is sodium chloride or salt found in water. An example of a gas solution is air. Air is composed of nitrogen and oxygen. Now whenever we talk about solutions, it's important to differentiate between the solvent and the solute. The solvent is the compound of which there is more, and the solute is the compound of which there is less. So let's go back to our examples. In brass, brass is composed of 55% copper and 45% zinc. So there's more copper, which means copper is the solvent, and zinc is the solute. In this example, there's more water than sodium, chloride, or salt. So the solvent is water, and the solute is the salt. Now let's go to our gas example. In our gas solution, there's 79% nitrogen, so this guy is the solvent, and 21% oxygen, so oxygen is the solute. Now let's look at ideal dilute solutions. So what are ideal dilute solutions? These solutions are simply solutions in which every single solute molecule is separated by a solvent molecule. So there is no interaction between neighboring solute molecules. Let's look at an example. So this is an example of an ideal dilute solution. In this example, the sodium and the chloride are separated by water molecules. So they can't interact. This is an example of a non-ideal dilute solution. In this example, the sodium and the chloride are able to interact with each other. So therefore, it's non-ideal. Dissolving is the process by which solvent molecules break apart solute molecules from one another. Now, when the solvent is water, this is called hydration. Now remember, like dissolves like. So polar molecules dissolve polar molecules, and nonpolar molecules will dissolve other nonpolar molecules. Nonpolar will not be able to dissolve polar, and that's because they won't be able to overcome the large dipole moments of the polar molecules. And these dipole moments come from large differences in electronegativity. Now, salvation is the process of breaking down ionic compounds bipolar compounds such as H2O. Now, the result are aqueous solutions. Within an aqueous solution, the ions are able to move freely. So the electrons are also able to move freely. And because of this, aqueous solutions conduct electricity very well. So, water will not be able to conduct electricity as well as a solution of sodium, chloride, and water.